Hogfish is producing a new version of the Opera Comique Carmen called Carmen X. We're really incorporating diverse genres of performing and visual art into one space where everyone can find something to celebrate. It is an adaptation set in present day on the border and telling that Carmen story, but in this moment in time where we are having so many conversations about what is a border, what is a boundary, and what does that mean? The very act of gathering and listening to each other's stories is already bridging and transcending borders, which can include geopolitics, gender, genre, and cultural borders. What is really fascinating about this production is the intersectionality of different types of theater making that come into contact with classical music. In this orchestration, I've looked at Latinidad influences who incorporate that into Bizet's very famous score. You're going to hear more intimate moments, but you're also still gonna get the full dramatic punch that is in the original. The dance music is representing this darker, wild energy, which is the whole theme of the show. You have Michaela on one side, the light, the good, the pure, the holy, and then you have Carmen on the other side, which is this rich underbelly. My images create a narrative that parallels the opera's narrative. Imagery from the Mexican border with the Canadian border. I wanted it to add depth to the walls in the room. I'm really excited about this group of designs that we have. We really got to tap into passion, romance, classic silhouettes, and putting a fresh spin on an old story. This rope is a very poetical way of exploring different borders. The rope for me was both really exciting and challenging to work with. How is this rope going from border to river to a striptease to something that's taking life away from one of our characters? We've really tried to marry the stories and the backgrounds of each individual artist, truly saying, what do you come to the table with? What is your family story? How could we bring that into this story of people meeting at Borders? Each performer has brought a piece of themselves to this show. Everyone sometimes sings out of operatic fashion, and they bring something that they also like to do apart from singing opera. I play a little bit of my Dominican drum when I sing, and I changed some of my lyrics to Spanish. Some people do guitar, country music, all kinds of stuff. I count every my ear is really excited to hear a country song followed by an aria done beautifully. And it's actually really refreshing and makes me listen to each in a different way. Certain elements of the piece, the dialogue and inclusion of new and original music is all imagined by the performers themselves. And it continued to evolve up until last night's rehearsal. This piece is a reflection of the individual performers in this iteration. With new performers will come a new piece. We're creating an immersive intermission. When we leave one location, there is an announcement from Tori Ador, the drag queen, saying that unfortunately drag bars are being shut down in Texas. We have to move to a clandestine new location for our performances in Juarez. And we arrive during the intermission and suddenly a dance party begins with an electronic dance score. So you can dance and then when that concludes, we all come back to the story and we're ready to finish this myth together. Nobody will walk away feeling neutral. There's just too much personality, thought, integrity, and just a personalized stamp on every aspect of the evening. It's our job as artists, presenters, and arts organizations to find the stories that build compassion. There's no way that you can walk out of this production without feeling compassion for the people who live these stories every single day. By exploring the story in a modern context, by finishing the story actually with a sort of cleansing ritual, we hope that we can see that this story does not have to be repeated time and time and time again.